Yo, what is going on everyone in the XRP community? Hope you guys are having yourselves a fantastic day today, as usual. Uh, we got some really cool stuff here. XRP is the crypto that is up the most uh, out of the top 10 cryptocurrencies. And is almost up 7% on the day. Uh, and what I freaking love, you know what I really love? Bitcoin ain't doing jack because you know that last time, you know, yeah, it was really cool. Uh, the Bitcoin maxis, they got to crap all over us as they were running all the way up to almost 14 K and the alts were getting capitulated. But now it is the altcoins turn to run this market. So uh, over the course of the rest of the year, I'm looking for this Bitcoin dominance to get absolutely crushed. I'm so glad to see that XRP is finally making some waves. Uh, and by the way, uh, we just smashed through another resistance as of about, uh, I don't know, like 10, 15 minutes ago. Uh, the next one we're looking to break is about 29 cents. Uh, and realistically, according to Pablo, uh, our dedicated TA man in the uh, <laughs> in the stream chat was saying that a measured move to about 31 cents is probably the most realistic outcome from this sort of pump. So really cool stuff. Nice to see some movement for once. I mean, gosh, it's just, oh God, I mean, this is... I'm not used to this. I haven't seen this in so long. I don't know how to react. It's just so beautiful. Uh, but we are smashing through resistances. But of course, you know, we are over this resistance right now. But it is very well possible we could be rejected. Uh, and we have a little bit of a retracement back down to previous support levels. That is definitely possible. So we don't really know what's going to happen here. Uh, the rest of the day with this pump, we just got to observe it uh, and just kind of see what happens. Roll with the day and let the XRP market do its thing. So guys, I have some really, really interesting information for today. Uh, you guys can check out my latest XRP Daily article uh, at the XRP, the XRP Daily uh, I wrote a piece on the 81 million mobile uh, app users in Japan now have direct access uh, into the XRP ecosystem through the Line app. Uh, and I did the math, about 64% of Japan's population does actually use this application and now they're providing XRP connectivity as you can see I'm not gonna read through the article or anything, but you can see the little logo there. Yeah, it's the XRP logo Oh, yeah, 81 million users direct access into XRP pretty cool stuff. However, that's really not the interesting thing today we have a in a sense a JPM coin 2.0. So let's go ahead and get into it. Uh, we got this latest article from Fuddesk. Uh, the only time I do read articles from Fuddesk is if they're, if it's, see, the thing is, is if Fuddesk reports on something that doesn't have to do with XRP, it's usually like 100% factual, very well written articles. But when it comes to something written about Ripple or XRP, they just all, all morals and credibility goes out the window and, and they have, they're getting everything wrong. But with Fuddesk, uh, when it's something besides XRP or Ripple, the articles are actually good. Funny how that works, right? I'm telling you guys, like that video I made a week ago. Yeah, they're scared. <laughs> so listen to this. Wells Fargo to pilot dollar link stablecoin for internal settlement. Now, I want to bring up something that is old but gold. Uh, and I want to bring this up before we dive into this article because there's a lot of good stuff in here. So, do you guys remember from last, uh, not last July, but the July before that, July 9th, 2018? So now in our pipeline, we have probably 50% of the market in India. Now it's like a hundred percent. I mean, someone from Ripple literally said like, Hey, we're working with like all the banks in India, right? So, oh God, I mean, this is awesome. So either integrated onto Ripple or in the deal, in the sort of pipeline to be signed. And guess what? We are going to take that back to Wells Fargo and say that there's not a better way to send money into India and Ripple. Okay, so this freaking trillion dollar banking giant, listen to this. U.S.-based financial giant Wells Fargo is developing a U.S. dollar link stable coin that will run on the firm's first blockchain platform. Dubbed Wells Fargo Digital Cash, uh, the tokenized dollar will be used in a pilot initially for internal settlement across the company's businesses. Now, is this domestic? Is this cross-border? We're about to find out. 
The firm said in a press release on Tuesday, today, uh, that the digital token will enable to settle internal cross-border payments across its global network. Its international locations will also be able to move funds between each other using the token. Now, we're going to get into the, specul the speculative side of whether or not this does or does not leverage Ripple or XRP. But let's just make one thing clear that is 100% factual. By them trialing a new form of digital token to settle internal cross-border payments across this global network, do you know what that tells us? Again, this is why it's so important when I tell you guys that watch what they do, not what they say. Because as Wells Fargo said, yeah, modern-day cross-border payment system sucks. You know, we want to use blockchain. No. But they're essentially saying that through this action because by them wanting to trial a new method for cross-border payments, they're essentially admitting, yeah, the current cross-border payment system that we're using, uh, it could be a lot more efficient. So its international locations will also be able to move funds between each other using the token. Uh, as banking services become increasingly digital, Wells Fargo sees a growing demand to further reduce friction regarding traditional borders. Wow, has somebody been reading up with the latest Ripple Insights articles? God, like with Libra, I mean, it's just you hear these companies use the same phrasing as Ripple and like you're just, we're just sitting there as XRP holders knowing that, yeah, you know what? We know you guys are hearing that from Ripple. We know where you got that idea from. Like, for example, Dave Marcus at Libra saying, oh, we want to create an internet of value. Oh, well, bull crap, because Ripple's been saying that since 2012, but just now you decided to say that, oh, we're trying to create an internet of value. Oh, and just now Wells Fargo sees a growing demand to further reduce friction regarding traditional borders. I'm starting to get a big whiff of Ripple, and maybe a little XRP, but most importantly, Wells Fargo has definitely been keeping up with Ripple developments. And today's technology puts us in a strong position to do that. Ah, today's technology, interesting. Said Lisa uh, Frazier, uh, head of innovation group at the company. Wells Fargo says its proprietary DLT platform will enable it to move money in near real time uh, without impact to the underlying account, uh, transaction postings, or reconcilement infrastructure. It will also allow the firm's international locations to move funds outside of normal operating hours, remove the need for third-party payment intermediaries, and cut the time and cost associated with such transactions. Oh my god, this is sounding very familiar. Oh, there's a little bit of a twist here. R3's tech? Hmm, I wonder what this could perhaps mean considering that the Corda Settler is integrated with the XRP ledger. When contacted by Coindesk, Wells said that its DLT is built on Corda Enterprise, the paid-for enterprise version of R3's blockchain technology that just so happens to have Corda Seller integration, which just so happens to have XRP Ledger connectivity. R3's Cord Enterprise was designed by and for financial institutions. It is a distributed ledger solution that allows for appropriate data, confidentiality controls, scales to bank transaction volumes and throughput, and supports an information security design that is compatible with Wells Fargo's industry regulated standards, said bank spokesperson Roger Cabrera. So, obvious parallels can be drawn between that Wells Fargo is testing out and JP Morgan's JPM coin, its interbank information network, which this week added Deutsche Bank to its 300 plus other banks on that network. So the pilot uh, slated for next year will start with transfers of US dollars, but is expected to expand to other currencies. Eventually, it also aims to reach all Wells Fargo branches worldwide. So guys, I'm going to predict right now that just let this, because guys, this information, since I'm like so on top of it and I'm like on top of information like hours after it comes out, like... This info came out about an hour and a half, two hours ago, okay? Let this article simmer for about a day. Mark my words, this is going to be labeled, oh, the, oh, oh, the XRP killer using Corda. Oh, but wait a second. Corda is directly integrated with XRP through the Corda seller, so any financial obligation on the Corda Enterprise platform has a settlement route through both Swift GPI and XRP. So I got to say, guys, um, first of all, not an actual XRP killer. 
this is just a concept at this point, and the pilots will be starting next year. <laughs> Ripple's already freaking going large-scale X-Rapid this next quarter, so I believe Wells Fargo's a little bit late to the game. But guys, this tells us that... This tells us two main things, okay? Before I end this video, this is... This tells us two things. One, they are admitting that the current cross-border model that they are leveraging is not efficient enough to their standards. Second of all, they are open to new distributed ledger technologies to solve these problems. And through these trials that will be happening next year on the R3 quarter blockchain, I feel like Wells Fargo may come to the conclusion that, wow, uh, if we use XRP, we could unleash trillions of dollars worth of capital in these Nostro Vostro accounts. Because see, the thing is, is that if they want to use some stable coin that's only native to the Wells Fargo ecosystem, then how are they going to send money out of the Wells Fargo ecosystem? They need a bridge asset to reach these other banks. And man, oh man, when I found out that this was using R3's tech, that is a big signal to me that we could potentially see XRP utility in here. And also, I find it very, very interesting how Ripple has been in discussions with Wells Fargo since about a year ago. So, really, really interesting stuff. All right, guys. Thank you so much for tuning the video today. Really do appreciate it. Make sure you do smash the like, subscribe. Check the links in the description if you want to support the channel. Really do appreciate it, guys. And I'll see you guys in the next one.